Hello, today we're going to talk about the weather variables lab. And it says for procedure A, we're going to use map A and we're going to draw isotherms. Isotherms is using a thermometer, so it's measuring temperature. And we're going to draw it at 10 degree intervals. Now I color coordinated because we need to draw the 30, the 40, the 50, 60, 70, and 80. Okay, but we have to still apply the contour lines rules. So everything on one side of the line must be lower and the other side of the line, everything must be higher. Now, the 30 is pretty straightforward. Okay, and I'm gonna just start by going like this and just connect the ones that I can see. Now remember, I have to go above this. Okay, so everything above will be less and everything below will be more. And I need to make sure that I go to the edge of the map, okay, or at least the edge of the United States. All right. And then we have the 40, which I colored in yellow. Okay, so I'm going to start at the edge of the map, go right through the middle of that. Okay, I got to get to here. All right. It's hard doing this with one hand, so just please be mindful of that. Now, when I get over here again, I got to make sure that I connect all of the places that are identified, but also I have to be very careful, okay? Um, so let's see. What is this? Oh, and just so we remember, um, we are looking at the top left of each station model for temperature, okay? This 50 represents temperature. The clear circle means no clouds, and the 160 is air pressure, but it's written out in shorthand. And we're actually going to take a look at that for the next part of the lab. The next part of the lab is we are using map B, and we are drawing isobars. Isobars is using a barometer which measures air pressure. We're gonna draw them at four milli millibar intervals. Okay, and I color coordinated some of this. So, we have to draw our four millibar interval. So we're gonna need to draw the 24, the 20, the 16, the 12, the eight, and the four. Drawing these will create two separate circles on the map. One will be a high pressure and one will be a low pressure. Literally the low pressure will be lower numbers and the high pressure will be higher numbers. You'll notice that low pressure is bad weather and high pressure, okay, just like if we remember Hawk, okay, happy, if I can get a smiley face, outward clockwise. And for low we have lick, and that's low, in or lousy, inward, counterclockwise, meaning that it spins inwards, but it also spins against the clock. All right, and that's how low pressure spins. And again, high is outward and clockwise. All right, now, as far as air pressure goes, remember, we're using the 500 as our base. If the number we see, like 160, is less than 500, and yes, 160 is less than 500, I'm going to put a 10 in the front and a decimal behind the last, just before the last number. If I had a number like 850, well, that's above 500, and I would put a 9 in the front. So examples, station model that says 140 is actually 1014.0, 040 is 1004.0, 250 is actually 1025.0. Okay, so let's draw our yellows, which is 1016. Okay, and I'm going to draw right through the middle of the circle. I have Portland, I have San Francisco, Los Angeles, Phoenix, Helena, Lincoln, and again, I'm holding the phone with one hand. Now remember, Everything in the circle needs to be either higher or lower consistently. Okay, so I'm going to go like that. 
and my 200 is higher, so it's inside the circle. Now, if you notice, one of the numbers you have to draw is 1024. And on the station model, it would say 240. I don't see anything that says 240, but I do see 250. So there could be a station model right here that says 240, and maybe another one over here that says 240. And I can just create a circle like that for my um, 1024. And I'll draw the blue ones, which are the 1008. Okay, so I have Chicago and I have Little Rock. Now this number is bigger, so I'm going to keep it on a separate side of my line. Okay, over here I have another one, Atlanta. I have Albany. Okay, and finish up the circle, I've got it back to Atlanta. All right, and you might already be able to tell which side of America is high pressure and which side is low pressure. Please message me if you have any questions about this lab.